Good morning, ladies. Welcome to Devotions with Dr. Sue as we keep watch at the gate. Today we are talking about continuing to be wives in purpose. And I know that some of us are going through some really challenging times. It's difficult to even begin to embrace the whole concept of being a wife, far less being in purpose. And I was challenged in my mind and in my spirit. Do I continue on this journey right now? And Holy Spirit said yes. He said because in spite of challenging times, one of the things that helps us to refocus is to understand our purpose, to understand some of the basic things that God has said. And so we talked about being made in the image of God and God wants us to continue on that journey. So let's do that in spite of what is happening to us. Genesis 1 28 says this and, and this is where we want to focus this morning as we reflect. It says, then God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and govern it, reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Now, we know that that verse is rich with so much information, but we just want to focus on the first few words. It says, then God bless them. Then God blessed him. After creation, after he created us in his image, after he, he, he made us in his likeness, he then blessed. And I want that to soak into our spirits this morning. I want it to, to, to reach beyond our heads and get right into who we are. And for us to embrace the fact that God has blessed us. You say, God bless me, and this man is driving me crazy. God has blessed me, and I can't see the things that are praying about coming to fruition. God has blessed me, and my mind is not at peace, and I'm challenged on every hand and side. And I want to say to you, yes, yes, and yes. Challenges does not mean, challenges do not mean rather, God has not blessed it, it just means that the, the blessings, the manifestation of those blessings are delayed, but it doesn't mean that you are not blessed. And so this word blessed um, is a primitive word called Baruch, B-A-R-U-C-K, C-H, sorry. And it means to endow with capacity. Oh, ladies, 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 hold on to that word. When it says God blessed them, it said God endowed them. He, he placed on them. He put into them. He deposited into them. He handed to them capacity. And so I'm saying to you, you have the capacity. You have the width. You have the depth. You have the breadth. You have capacity. You have ability. You are able. <laughs> You are not only able, you are capable. So God has endowed you with capacity. So as you think about that, I want you to receive that into your spirit. No matter what you're going through, God has endowed you with capacity. And not only has it endowed, he has endowed you, but he has said something to you. God has spoken spoken to you. We know God used his words to bring this world into existence. And if he has used his word to bring this world into existence, when he speaks, you know there is power in, in his words. You know there is might in his words. You know there is a creative energy in his words. And so God just wants us to hold on to these two things this morning. There's so much more to share that we will as we go through this process. But right now, he's just saying to you, my child, my daughter, I have endowed you with capacity. This storm that you're going through, you're going to overcome. This challenge that you're faced with, you're going to overcome. This victory that you need to achieve, you will have. He says, because I have endowed you, I have spoken it over you. You are blessed. You have capacity. Can we just talk to God about that? 
Father, we want to thank you. This morning, our hearts are filled with gratitude that you have blessed us, that you have spoken over our lives and your words are powerful. Your words do not return unto you void. Your words accomplish what they have been sent forth. And when we are blessed by you, there is nobody that can curse us. We receive this into our spirits. We say it, O oh God, in agreement with you and we thank you for its manifestation. In Jesus' name, amen. So ladies, what are we saying today? I am a wife in purpose and I am endowed with capacity. God bless you and have a wonderful day.